let's find the surface area of a torus having a major radius r, or big R, and minor uh, radius little r. So if we, let's say this is our view from the top of the torus, and this is a view of sort of a side slice, uh, then big R is the distance from here to here. So this is big R, uh, whereas little r is the distance from here to here. So in particular, this, this will be a distance big R plus little r, and this will be a distance uh, big R minus little r from the origin. OK, so the first step is to find a parametrization of, uh, of the torus. So we'll use um, a version of polar coordinates. Again, I'll call this T of, uh, of theta and phi um, to avoid confusion with little r. So we'll start out, uh, let's just start out by going, figuring out uh, the coordinates of like points along here. So this isn't on the torus, but it's sort of a start. So that will be uh, x equals big R cos theta, let me move this up. Um, OK, so x equals big R cos theta, y equals big R sine theta, and then so far z is just 0. Uh, so our, our theta variable is like, if we're measuring from here, this is theta. That's probably not very readable, is it? Um, OK, so theta is measuring around here. Our phi, though, our second uh, parameter will be at angle phi, like this. So phi will be between 0 and 2 pi. And so from here, we can see that the z coordinate will be little r sine phi. So this is our z coordinate, little r sine phi, and beware this is this is different from spherical the phi and spherical coordinates. So uh, first of all, it's being measured from here as opposed to like from the top down. It's measuring being measured like this, uh, and it'll go between zero and two pi rather than between zero and pi. Uh, okay, so we still need to adjust the x and y values. So um, uh, this so this distance will be r cos phi, and that'll be uh, will be so if this is yeah, let's say we were here, this was like r this is the x and y we have so far, then uh, we're gonna move backwards along here by this amount uh, r cos little r cos phi. So or backwards or forwards. So we need to adjust this formula to be uh, cos theta sine theta uh, big R plus R cos phi, little r cos phi, and y is big R plus little r cos phi, then times sine theta. OK, so here uh, is now those parameters you can adjust. Right, so now we've got a parametrization. Let's, now we can go ahead and uh, calculate the tangents, and then from there, the surface area. Um, and yeah, I'll call this uh, T of 
of theta and phi. Okay, so t sub theta cross t sub phi is, let's see, so I will have r plus r cos phi sine theta, the negative in front, uh, r plus r cos phi cos theta. I'm running it for room, but that's okay because the last term is zero. Um, right, then you will have a negative, when we differentiate with respect to phi, we'll get uh, negative r sine phi cos theta, uh, negative r sine phi sine theta, and r cos phi. So then i, j, k. Uh, so here are those two tangent uh, directions. Uh, all right, so we can, for calculating this determinant, we can pull out uh, r plus r cos phi from the second row, and we can also pull out a little r from the third row. So this is r uh, r plus r cos phi times little r. And now what do we have? So for i, um, this will give, oh, this is cos theta times cos phi. Yeah, this alignment is horrible. Let's put in some dividing lines. Um, You can see what we're doing. Okay, so for i, we have uh, cos theta cos phi i. Uh, for j, we've got, so this is zero um, still, so sine, we have minus sine theta cos phi, so plus sine theta cos phi j, and then for k, uh, we've got sine squared theta, cos squared theta, uh, times sine phi, and what are the uh, sines? Uh, yeah, so this will be uh, plus, yeah, plus sine of phi k. Uh, so here's that normal vector. Uh, okay, so now we do, we need to calculate this. The we only care about the magnitude of this of this cross product. So uh, magnitude t theta cross t phi is so this part r plus r cos phi times r, and now we'll do square root. So this is cos squared theta, sine squared theta. Plus sine squared theta, cos squared phi. So this is all just cos squared phi, and then plus sine squared phi. Okay, so magnitude of magnitude of this vector in here, this, this guy is all one. So we actually just have uh, r plus r cos phi times r is the magnitude. So now the surface area is integral. Maybe we shouldn't put big R here. We'll just say so integral t theta cross t phi d theta d phi. That's integral 0 to 2 pi 
integral 0 to 2 pi of r plus r cos phi uh, d d theta d phi. And that's, so the 2 pi uh, on, on the theta will come out. So that's 2 pi. Uh, and then we can, for the phi, um, this will be r phi uh, plus r sine phi at 2 pi and at 0. Is that right? Uh, Yes. Okay. So, uh, so that'll be what uh, four pi squared big R, and then sine of uh, oh, and so this term goes away. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. There's I forgot this term. So put this in here. So this should be. Uh, r r phi r squared okay so uh so this term goes away and so formula for the surface area is four pi squared uh times big r times little r